Disclaimer. Yo, thank you for making a comment. So for Novimus, I present this long review as a present. And now that I think about it, is it pronounced Ebimon, like E.T., or is it Ebimon? Hmm. E.B. makes sense, but I'm going to rock Ebimon. Sorry, not sorry. Anywho, as someone who's played Digimon World 1, I'm giving them praise too. They were my very first ultimate when I would first played the game when I was like 9, and I hold that dearly because that game was hard as a kid. Now with that said, let's talk about that. When did Fade Bomb get black lip gloss? So instead of a ray gun, they're just going to hit you with the good old UFK smooch, huh? <laughs> well, anyhow, Vaidmon has crazy early Digivolution potential. These requirements are all need to be met, and the level is also one too. Ebimon requires one of these Digimon, and the reason why Vaidmon is the superior choice is because level 45 isn't early enough. In fact, this Digipath is so perfect that Vaidmon stat requirements are met as early as level 12, which is like Digivolving your rookie to champion level. The others did evolve much later, probably because they switched majors too much. Which, you know, is pretty fair, because it's hard knowing what you want to digivolve into someday, you know? Once the Prodigy graduates from Digi College, they get a different attribute and a brand new special move with their degree. This mega level only has 16 memory, which is really cheap for how surprisingly good they can be. To help us November, not remember, but these three megas have the cheapest memory use. Brain Rupture is single target, magic, and an electric attack having a 50% chance to confuse. This move is really stacked because every other move, sorry, every other status effect still allows someone to play their turn, just with limitations, but both confusion and sleep causes them on to be out of commission without any control until the status is cured or goes away. So let's address those with the built-in counterplay. Between them, Kentarosmon can cause more problems. Their vaccine, status effects occur less, they deal mixed damage, and could have healing factor. High resolution seems good, but just how good is dot immunity? Also to note this, but anything in game that reads crystallizing, that's treated the same as dot. Having dot immunity helps out in the story against the eaters, but in a PvP battle, we're immune to dot from these moves. The real digi threats are the last two. Just because we're immune, that doesn't mean we pass the finish line. Someone in the comments can correct me if I'm wrong, but the Jermon Paladin reduces all damage from Virus Dark Hybrid Digimon by 15%. Now, this could be a mistranslation, or I misread it somehow, but to me, it could just mean virus types. To which, if that's the case, that's no good. Omnisword is massive physical damage on top of that. And then this Giga Beast on attack steroids can also deal in penetration damage too? That support skill increases damage given by 30% as well. Pretty scary. Overall, situations like these make Safety Guard sound great. Now let's analyze how the base stats do. See how they scale while leveling. And the Masona Labbing results are in. Ebimon favors them the most. Having both high SP and end means we can afford high cost heal and or support moves. Perfect revival might be too much, but final or even X aura works. Maybe restore, dispel, or safety guard too. Out of the break moves, attack break field probably wins since they learn the move naturally. ABF is the only way to reduce defense penetrating moves other than the pin block equipment item. Going back to stats, defense is 1 to 1, speed drags behind a tad, and attack is worse of all. Having low attack is no problem though. If our staff was four times the size of our sword right at birth, then that's a wrap anyway. Having high int in this game means you have high magic attack, have high magic defense, and higher healing ability too. A triple whammy. Before sharing offensive magic, Ebimon is super strong against all the data winmons in the game like you see now. Two Royal Knight Digimon is a big plus to the game's story, and probably PvP too. Although, Vaccine Earth hybrids are terrifying. Especially Jotaro oh Leomar. <laughs> <laughs> Despite being a Royal Knight, 
They're not a physical threat on paper, and yet somehow both of them lack a powerful Earth special move. So I thought to include this Digimon too, which could pose a threat. This one's ultimate level, but they still possess dangerous qualities. This one's virus, but they still got destructive Earth damage. This one's just data, but they're so fast that one character reversal can change everything. And this one's virus that may not have defense penetration, but it's still flat, rock solid, and physical damage having high stun chance. From Ebimon's perspective, all of them can be a problem. As a result, Ebimon struggles to deal with hard-hitting physical vaccines, and there's like 20 of those in the game. Luckily, we can be big-brained and determine who to pair with them. They don't seem like top or even high tier to me, but when I remember playing both stories, I realize now that they could definitely work. Before I share who the homies are, I'll say now that moves like Holy Light 3, Character Reversal, Nightmare 3, and Sonic Void 3 are pretty solid offensive moves for coverage. As you can see though, Ebamon lacks AoE damage. Note that too. Now, let's talk about the homie. The homie! I'm not going to go too deep into everyone's merits here, but they all benefit Ebamon, in my eyes. This might not be the same for everyone, so bear that in mind. I'll leave the merits in the comments or the description, but the bottom line is, they all help Ebamon with something. So before I share some fun team strategies, let's recap. Ebamon is virus, electric, has so-so defense, but they're magically delicious. <laughs> they're magically prodigious. So, in short, we'd love data types for the vaccines. We may delete the data win mons out of existence, but we'd love them to stick around to help with the vaccines and the rocky mons out there. Physical damage hurts, but we're happy to have some intelligence buffs too. So, I give you these fun ideas to aid on Ebimon's journey. And with all that, I hope y'all have fun with this mon and the fun synergy y'all can create. Thanks for watching. Keep it on, no matter what. Cheers.